I think I'll just leave these guys here because once we've converted C where they can just quickly swiftly move down here uh, without much trouble and they are still converting the populace with easy as pie yes lord yes lord okay so that's all hunky dory so we have got 10,000 to spend now do we save that and let our treasury increase a little bit after our spending sprees or do we uh, yes do we start spending <laughs> start spending it I think we're gonna save this turn I think we should save your orders number one okay he goes to govern the forces there marvelous the uh, oh no the Mongols they're not heading north they're sort of at a crossroads they're ascertaining do, what the best course of action try, is sire. do we go up do we go down do we go round and round do we do the bloody oodle doodle do we put our left leg in and our right leg out? What shall we do? The hokey hokey hokey? What are you doing? Tell us! Right, where is the merchants? There were some enemy merchants in, in, around here. My lord. He's trading nothing. Why are you trading nothing? Get on the old papyrus and get trading, buddy! He's trading. Yes, my lord. 756 a turn. What are you doing? Standing around gormlessly. Come on! Pull your finger out, Ready man! Ready to trade. Opening trade. There is no room for slackers my in lord. my empire. Ready to trade. There we go. So they're both trading 756 a turn for a grand total of about 1,500 florins per turn, just with two merchants. Can't believe I never used merchants before now either. Uh, Who has this bliss? We'll continue to leave the heretics in the lands because it's good for causing uh, revel re uh, revolt and rebellion. They're doing basically doing our job for us. Cairo is already 20% orthodox now. Things are looking bad. Public order slowly decreasing. Assassin. The problem. Care to sabotage a uh, building or two? Am I taking down yes. a person? Yes. Take down their religious place. building, please. Exo. It will look like God Himself has struck it down. 100%. Look at that. They're falling now. I can feel their empire crumbling beneath me. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Drop it like a stone in a pond. Just just te just teetering into oblivion. I like it. The Turks! In fact, the Turks are so weak, I don't know why I'm so scared of them. Victory conditions are going to be difficult taking out the Turks? I don't think so. If we turn our entire force, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially nine full stack armies that are waiting in the wings, we turn those towards Turkey or the Turks are they going to be able to stop us if we hunt in a pack like the Mongols do I think we might be okay that could be a real grand finale to the campaign a nine stack army marching together brothers in arms to take down the Turks that will be absolutely phew, storm brewing yes my lord right. yes they're going south our agents work is pretty much done I'm tempted to take this guy down. To it's two bites at the cherry, isn't it? But Who he's not as good. Lord, am I to dispose of? But seventy percent, seventy percent is not to be snuffed at. So I'll take down the Sultan's palace. This building will soon be but a memory. Ha ha ha! It's worked. Good job. Now at fifty, <gasps> fifty-five percent public order. I can sense revolt in the wings. <laughs> I haven't been drinking today, I am just literally this jovial because well, I am not too, working sir. for the next four days and I'm excited to be playing this campaign. It's going to turn out to be uh, exciting from this point forward. The Mongols, we don't know what they're doing. Egypt are crumbling. We are about to take a few new lands. How are our relationships? Amiable with Jerusalem, reasonable with Antioch? The biggest mistake we did was ally with the Mongols. That caused a bit of a, a bit of a problem. But uh, I'm sure we can recover, recuperate. I think Jerusalem would be rather foolish to turn on us, given our strength. But you never know. Stranger things have happened in these games. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick look at the building situation, just to see if there's any urgent buildings that we can build that don't cost us a great deal of money. But I do believe most of our cities and castles are recruiting what they need to recruit. 
just keeping an eye on the tax rates as well. If we can eke out a little bit of extra tax, then we should be okay. But I don't want the public order grow or the public growth to drop below one percent. So I'll have to remain on low there. Normal tax rate, 175 percent. What do you think this is? A charity? We're in war, man. Put the tax rates up. That's right. These people shall pay for the privileges of living here. Uh, what shall we build? A a market. Thank you so much. Yeah, you see things like that. This empire's been too too run too softly over the past few years. The Empress of Thanos' reign like to appease the people. Well, uh, the reign of the new emperor is going to be slightly different. He's going to be cracking down with an iron fist. Sometimes you're going to be nasty to be nice. The people may not like it, but in the long term, their future shall be secure. Council chambers, a bit of public order assistance. Sounds perfectly fine. Normal tax rate there. One of the few generals we have with some chivalry. A man is the honest. Doing his best to run Heraclea as a kind man. People will build statues for him in the future. Uh, 4,800. It's a little bit pricey. But uh, it's always important to upgrade your cities always important. That, that should be a priority in fact. Forget the roads. If we sacrifice roads and build them instead, it might save a little bit of cost. Iconium needs to build some more buildings, but these aren't a priority right now. So we'll keep those in mind for future. Uh, very high tax rate in Ankara. Low tax rate in Nicosia, recently captured. Needs to uh, Needs to come around to our way of thinking, I think. So, uh, in in order to increase tr increasing trade, public order buildings probably should be next. Sinope has nothing. Come on, what should we build in Sinope? Anything cheap and cheerful? No, they're all rather expensive. What to expect in a huge city? We shall have to uh, again keep those in mind for future. I just want to. Let my treasury tick over to about 50,000 before we start going on to a spending spree. Emperor Asimopoulos, 61. He is an emperor. He is the emperor. But uh, he's pretty much handed his power straight to uh, Prisaunus due to his age. No point in starting changing things under your rule when you're only going to last a couple of years, is there? Look to the future, the youngster, Prisaunus, and his new ideals should do us fine. Your orders? Back to terra firma, men. Yes? Terra firma. Good old dry land to you and me. Why are you speaking these fancy words? Say what you mean. Okay, we're done. So that's a little bit of building work done. Alexandria suffers again! Oh my goodness gracious! There was an earthquake and now... There is another one? Oh my god, two earthquakes! Just when you thought your luck was running out, it got worse. And these things come in three. What's next? A great plague of locusts? That really would put you on the back foot. Cairo! 110 public order? How did that happen? I don't know, but I don't like it. Assassins? The problem. Ah. What is their name? They seem to have put Am in... I taking down a person or a place? They seem to have rescued the situation by putting in a rather chivalrous and loyal governor to rescue the situation. Well, isn't that a clever thing to do? Who has this place? And we only have like an 8% chance name to assassinate. Name the target and it shall be removed. I like their thinking. But we shall continue. We shall not give up. The problem... What is the name? What else Who helps war? public order? Am I to dispose of, Lord? Army barracks. Fire shall consume the building. And Who has firebirds. Name the target. The she she it shall be removed. Uh oh, he missed. It's the first it time we missed. It will look like God Himself has struck it down. Okay. Well, he missed, but yeah, ninety percent. 90%. Keep working, lads. Keep working. We shall not give up. Oh, we lose a spy. 
a, well, in a vital position as well. He was tracking the Mongols, and it looks like the Mongols are going for Acre. Is that called Acre? 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 Yes, Lord. Whatever it's pronounced like, uh, they're going for it by the looks of it. And as I say, the Mongols are cowards. They don't go for heavily fortified places. They seem to be picking off the under or the undefended lands, therefore suffering the least amount of uh, Lord. losses. Naturally, my lord. Okay. It's actually quite worrying because they are uh, probably about four turns away from my own back door here. Or front door. This is more the front door, really. But they're, yeah, they're <laughs> whatever door it may be, they are not too far away. And nobody seems to be diminishing their numbers rather quickly. So uh, it's getting towards that stage. Yes. Where we uh, might need to batten down the hatches. Full sail. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. So the uh, the uh, the scouting troop force forges on ahead, full speed. And uh, my agents continue. There's a Oh, there's an Egyptian assassin here. This is not good. We could probably do with him being killed. Who is to disappear today? Am I taking down a person or a place? Okay, I could do with killing him Would first. You like him to... My lord. My lord. What shall I offer you today? I don't have a clue. Uh, do we have updated map information about Jerusalem? I think we could do with that. An honor. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. Can you offer me map information? I do not believe I'm able to accept this. Oh, can we give a payment? Shall we try Very again? well. What else do you have to suggest? I like your English accent, buddy. It's nice to hear some, uh, you know, eloquent speakers down in these parts. 500 uh, florins for uh, map information. No, we cannot agree to this now. Uh, Good day to you. Yes, I know. We're, we're too generous, you see. They think we're generous. When really we are not. We are selfish. Very good, my lord. Yeah. Doing these things for our own gain. Okay. Um. 3,000. No room for spending again. A land has got a yellow face. Why do you have a yellow face? Because they are upgrading at the moment. It's probably a, bit, a little bit cramped. Yes, cramped. I bet there's a lot of uh, squalor going on as well, due to this crampness. Yeah, 35% squalor, you see. Could do some public baths. Lower that squalor. Right, Iconium is almost done. One more unit. Where are my troops? Your Majesty. My lord. Heading towards Mavros. We continue tomorrow. What the hell is this? Fog. A storm. I think is it what it is? Yes. Okay, let's keep going. For the first time in a while we get to sort of move through a few turns rather swiftly. Whoa! Why is that teen infantry? I thought they were different. It looks like they got a different shield, but no. Probably the same. Another city ready to upgrade. Nicaea is ready to upgrade. Money, 2,000. Uh, we're going up slowly. Not as quickly as I'd hoped, but we're going up. Up, up, up. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh. What are they doing now? They're turning direction. I mean, for goodness, do you think we've got all night to wait? Come on, get get a move on, will you? Uh, bloody hell fire. It's where to, sire. Although they have four units here. As you wish. So are they losing numbers? They started with six and now they have four. They're either merging their troops together or they are actually losing numbers in battle. Now I'm going to try something in a minute there. Just bear with me. Yes, my lord. Landing Floating ships. course now, my lord. Your orders? This yes, should go much slower because it has a cumbersome uh, yes. catapults on there, so it's going to be much slower. Your orders? Kamanos is like 56. He's probably praying to get there as quick as possible. Come on, let me get there before I die. Let me do something. I'm trying. 
Oh, I might as well take it with him. He's going to get there. Phew, quick sticks. But no, he'll clear the path. Make sure there's no rebels in the lands. Make sure everything's nice and clear. Give a little bit more extra time for the population to convert to orthodox to prevent public order issues, all that sort of thing. Then we go back on the ships and we head to Alexandria, which is one of our victory conditions. And uh, yes, we shall take it. Uh, it looks like the Egyptians are now finally going to take back Tanta, which is uh, not good. But it's, it forces them to lower their numbers. They have to throw troops at it and therefore it's a bit of a hindrance for them. Right, what was I going to try? I was going to try this. Noble Lord. Uh, a captain. Captain Kogi Bag. Rather than going for a general, if we go for a captain, what we might just be able to bribe them away. 